Hey guys, this is an unboxing of the 150th scale TWH uh, uh, Seagrave TDA, the Steven Stiller Foundation version. Um, I posted a picture on Facebook a couple months ago that I was getting this. I ever thought it was crazy because of the price, but when you have personal meeting behind September 11th, it makes the whole price of after three hundred forty dollars on sale, but it makes that price worth it. And my mom used to work across the street from them. Uh, the chief of one of our fire stations is there the day after at Triage Station, which is basically an on-site hospital for injured people. Um, and. It's the whole reason I'm become a firefighter. So it has personal meaning behind it. And I also got the P-Series uh, snowplow with it for free. Which I'll probably end up selling in a couple of months or something. When the... I've noticed the price of TWH models are starting to go up. So I'm going to wait and see if P-Series does go up. Oh, it's P-Series, right? Yeah, P-Series snowplow. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, people thought it was crazy, but there's personal meaning behind this smile for me. It'll probably be the last one until spring, when Sword releases their new models. Oh, this it also has text on the back. I'll put all pictures of this stuff on my Facebook page as soon as possible. It'll come out. I ordered this on Sunday and it's now Wednesday. We ship Monday morning. That's probably the fastest shipping I've ever gotten from diecastmiles.co. Here's the front of the box. That's the Pentagon. Flight 93. Uh, of course the Twin Towers. Just the sides of it. That's a really nice box. I mean, people are saying that I should just get the other one that was $180 at the time. I forget the library of it. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'd rather have this one. I would never buy one if it didn't have this. If they didn't have it in this color. Or library, decal, whatever you want to call it. It's directly drawn aerial. I'm going using scissors to open these. I can't find my knife. We got still in the shot. The tractor first. There's the FDNY logoing on it. Uh, 9-11-2001. Same for the other side. Oh, this thing's heavy. But uh, this is honoring our heroes. This is a lot nicer than it is on the website. The graphics are really clear on this. They really put a lot into this model. And the scissors. This off. I have shelves uh, for this model and the T908. I have to finish staining them. I have to do one more shelf. And they will be in the next uh, update. 
But you can see it has all the graphics. Like I said, I'll do a review on it. It's a very nice model. But, uh, that's it for me, guys. Talk to you later. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook. Uh, of course, if you're on Facebook, please follow me. I'll have pictures up today, probably. Today is October 2nd. But uh, it's getting pretty long, so I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, guys, I just want to throw in there that in that little plastic baggie that you saw in the package. I was kind of in a rush, so I didn't want to. So I'll try to finish up. We have, uh, oh, I'll show one here. You have little uh, tiller mirrors. You have two sets of them. Like you have this set and you have an extra set in case you lose them. And same for the front mirrors. It also has. Uh, I'm not too sure what that one's for. I think it's for your blind spot. But uh, of course you have your extra ones. And it has four wheel chocks. You can see two of them. But uh, yeah. Uh, um, it also has in the uh, package at on the top of the box it has information about uh, Steven Seller um, you know uh, stuff that comes with it that baggie and of course the brochure of the actual truck you know, it has uh, clear graphics and whatnot but uh I'm going to do an unboxing of the P-Series, because I have time. Um, if you want to, you can watch it. If not, turn it off. So I was kind of putting this one off. A typical uh, tissue paper wrapping. And I'll still have pictures up today. Uh, I'll have a model review up soon. Put a link in the description of when it's up. If you're watching this a while later, of the uh, uh, Seagrave. I mean, there's probably tons of review, uh, unboxings up of these trucks. I figure I'd just throw it in if you feel like watching a longer video. Has uh, the instructions to put the hydraulic cylinders on the snow plow, which I'll show you later. Of course, you have a brochure, you know, the specs for the real truck. Uh, this would help if I have my knife. Like I said before, I'll probably sell this in a couple months and see if the value goes up in these. So I don't really want another one. You have a pick. I mean, it's a nice model, it's just, I don't know if I really want one in my collection anymore. Of course, I have your P-Series uh, dump truck. I have a review up of this already, too. It's like one of my first videos, I think. You have your plow. And mirrors and uh, overhead lights, floodlights. These are hydraulic cylinders I was talking about. I'll show you uh, what that paper was talking about. On my original truck, I glued these on. So of course, it looks beefier and nicer with them on. So you have uh, wires right here that you put these, they slip one of the sides on, there's like a, 
See, I don't know. You can kind of see there's like a hole there. It's a hollowed out piece of rubber. And the wire goes in. It's kind of hard to do with the camera between me. But the basic idea goes on that side. And then on the front of the truck, it has holes that it goes through. And just like that. And it'll connect to these wires on the inside of the, the mount. That's it for me, guys. Uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Find me on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description. Like it. <clears throat> yeah. See you guys.